In Isaiah chapter 50, verse 4, it says this, The Lord God has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak what? A word in season to him who is weary. Interesting, he says, and this of course is Jesus. He says, he's given me the tongue of the learned. What is the tongue of the learned? You know, because we think about, you know, I got my PhD or I got my second PhD, but what does it mean to be the learned? to be a genius or to get my bachelor's in science. But listen, it says right here that he's given me the tongue of the learned. And this is what the tongue of the learned is for. And we should all be praying, Lord God, let me know how to do this in a better way, to be able to speak a word in season, in season. The idea is at the right time. And so that means that there's a wrong time. And so there's a time to be quiet but to be able at the right time to the person who is weary. Isn't that amazing? You know, of all the things, you know, Jesus came. He could have been the greatest architect. He could have been building beautiful buildings, things that lasted for eternity. He could have been the greatest artist. He could have been the greatest sculptor or the greatest scientist or even the greatest surgeon. And there are things about those aspects that he does encompass. But Jesus, he came to do his Father's will. God says, I sought for a man, I found one, he himself came. And so it says here, the tongue of the learned. Now, this is from the perspective of eternity. What is it? To know how to speak a word in season to the person that is weary. Isn't that amazing? How he loves us. The most important use of the human tongue is to know how to speak a word in season to the weary person. That might be preaching the gospel. That might be quoting a psalm to somebody. Maybe just saying, hey, I love you. God loves you. Heaven's gift, the human tongue. Being able to communicate words of encouragement, words of exhortation, words of love.